be on my way now. You just give me a... So, it's Tuesday everyone. Better day than yesterday. Um, Anyone wonders why I always set my hat off when I start recording because who the fuck wants to see me wearing a hat on? That was one thing when I was an apprentice when I first started on site that I fucking I just think they look silly, you know what I mean? Obviously, they're for safety, you've got to wear them, but they just look daft. And if I'm in the house with nothing above me, and it's hot, I'll take it off for a bit. But, uh, yeah, I should, yeah, sometimes you've got to wear them all the time, you know what I mean? But it's one of them. But for this, for YouTube, you know, oh, oh, oh daft, You're fucking daft. Anyway, someone will leave a comment about that. Just be like, oh, it's good. Anyway, but check it out. We've done this jack wall. Um, little tip, I'll show you now. You know, it's like how you can get your jack wall up in a day, you know, half a day, if you're actually working. Something like I've been slacking off today, doing a few bits of filming and that. I uh, burnt out a bit for the last of the last week or so. I've just been doing a bit too much. So I'm just steady enough for a bit and then I'll push it again and try and a load of money again. But you know, sometimes, you know, just doing day work's good enough. See what I mean? Don't need to be killing your son all the time. But anyway, check it out. <coughs> so you've seen I use the uh, paddle mixer in the other video, but this is exactly the same. It spins a bit fast actually. Pick it. See it power and power in that. Um, you know, it's only two hundred quid drill. That I got a deal, two hundred quid with two batteries, ten quid paddle mixer. You know, five quid attachment, two hundred and fifteen quid, and it's vital when you're working out of tubs. I've not knocked these up, but this is how you can get if you're transferring gobble across. You can get wet stuff, stiff stuff on the top, wet stuff. And you just want to mix it nice and smooth and you have the opportunity to do so either in the tub or when it's in here in these tubs um also also um the first course of block i did this on, on saturday you guys saw last video it's vital that you get a solid base for your connies and you build them you know three three at a time four at a time then back it up and you can get it all the way up you know some of that some of them are a little bit ropey the blocks all over today and my head's just recovering it's recovering to be honest but i'm looking a bit hard so i'm just going steady you can't always be on it you know what i mean but you know we've got to scrape them snots off now and then normally you'd have party wall roll but there's none on this block because it's getting blown in uh, but yeah we're going to get this up and then we're going to bang them soldiers on and that's about all she wrote today i reckon i'm starting to work a bit less as well i'm looking a bit a bit, le a bit less for the next week or so until i recover and then back on it Right, let's get this in and then bang them soldiers in. I'm gonna drop my frames in and go home. I'll do the internal work tomorrow. Fuck it, right. In the bizzles. Hey guys, it's Wednesday. Not been filming much as I said, but got this internal room done at least. Um, probably about 100 turbos today, not much, some commons and shit. You know, I probably didn't really even make day work, but. Just fucking burnt out a bit. Going a bit steadier, just relaxing, you know what I mean? End of day. You not always got to be fucking panicking if you're not doing as much as the usual, you know what I mean? I've not, I'll not replicate that 1200 brick for quite a few months, I reckon. Um, but, you know, I don't mean, I don't mean to say your job's bad, it just means you're not fucking everything I'm falling into line on a set day. But yeah, check out what I've done today. Pretty happy with me, saying all. Basically all freehand. I love freehand, you know what I mean? It's, you don't earn a lot of money doing it, but I love it. So everyone, it's half past nine. It's Thursday, so we're still on this pair. So, my original plan, a few things didn't go to plan. My original plan was to get it done in like two weeks, but I had obviously three solo days. And... Did we miss a Saturday? We were going to do a Saturday. I think we missed a Saturday, we were going to do. Uh, yeah. Uh, it was my birthday as well, um, but I've just been relaxing. I got a little bit burnt out, as you guys know. A bit, you know, but it's, 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 you know, a lot of people out there on YouTube they don't show the reality of working life. You know, you get tired. You it, you're smashing hours in. You're smashing loads of work in, tiring yourself out. You know, you can't always do it. So, uh, for these last couple of days, probably been making 
150 a day max maybe um, making fuck all really but that's the reality of price you know sometimes you're gonna let make a lot of money sometimes you're not gonna make a lot of money depending on what you're building so we're on this fiddly front and the way we've built this has been completely wrong uh, in a sense of what I would normally do but I've had to just adapt to this height I'm on and adapt to the gear I had uh, at the time and now uh, I've found myself building all the front and basically a lot of the front and the butt work to the top windows freehand you know, a lot of guys on YouTube aren't capable of just doing freehand and making a wage. You know what I mean? I can, I can build freehand all day and make more than day work. Do you know what I mean? Without putting a line on. Um, but anyway, uh, I'll show you what I'm doing today. And me and Dean have perfected the tubs a bit more. Show you some new tubs. Check it out. So, <laughs> I know. But these are being cute. Five pound eighty-five. Every day at week, we've the this black tub, these black tubs. We we had one of these, and um, it's lasted the longest. But we'll see. I don't know. These ox haven't lasted very long. These have the ox brand, but they don't last very long for the, this application. You know, they're probably not made for it. A forty liter again, and going to be paddle mixing all this. We've decided to just put the gobo straight out of the tubs. We've probably loaded almost a tub's worth of gobo in here. Ready mix. Bear in mind for so anyone wondering. We're going to load it out stiff into the tubs and mix it in the tubs instead of it, instead of potentially damaging our drills or paddle mixer in on the loading bay in a big tub. So it's a lot easier to do it this way. You know, you could say it is a little bit slower, a few minutes slower because it's actually about a minute a minute each tub of mixing. So you've got eight tubs, that's eight minutes, whatever, seven tubs, seven minutes. Uh, but yeah, today we're over this front here. Obviously this is what I had to fix the other day. Um, so we're, this drops off at this height, there's a big dormer going there, so we drop that all drops off. Little cut up up here, and then a window right here. Um, you know, so obviously, change of material, that's why there's a straight joint there between party wall and thermalite. We've got ties. I think the regulations every 450 for change of masonry, but I like to put them in every 225. I do it all the time. I think is if it's supported 225 by another skin, by another adjacent tie, a bit like a expansion, you know, it's all right. So, same again. I'll flush my joists as I go. Um, you know, there's a big debate as well about brushing your block work. Do you brush your block work? Is it an extra movement, an extra waste of time? We've started doing it. Um, I think we brushed this here. Some of this was a bit dry. I don't think we. I think we get this a bit of a brush as well. You know, brushing your block work. You know, filling in off of your joist, your notches out and stuff. You know, it just makes a neater job. You know, I'm not saying that this is looks the neatest. It was built when it was wet. Obviously, as soon as you start working in wet weather, your quality will just decrease instantly. Uh, some of these blocks were all over. To be honest, they're all different sizes. That's the only thing I don't like about concrete blocks. The tolerances for the sizes are nothing like these. These are these are the thermalites are always made more accurate than than a than a concrete block. So you know is what it is. But yeah, Dean's done a fantastic job of uh, cleaning up. That's a that's the only downside of tubs, I'd say, is there can be some wastage. You know, especially with ready mix, it is crap to work with. There's more coming. You've got to get rid of the old stuff, and we end up having a pile of gobbo, and we've had a lot of gear to knock down. So. End up getting piles of gobble, but as long as you've got your, la your labour or tender or whatever, just cleaning up, you know, got as blocks out as, as usual, you know, same old. So I'm going to build this. It's now 42 minutes past. I've been on, I've been talking for a bit. <coughs> well, uh, get building, get building. I want to get this room up to top windows. Um, it worked perfectly building the windows check, dropping them in. Um, yeah, you know, it's a good method. It's a good method. It's not the best. I did set these out wrong at first, so no, I set this. I set this house out right. You can see how I've left my windows back a little bit. This one's probably left a bit too far back, so I'll have to notch a piece out of there and add a piece on. It's not ideal, um, but I'm going to go about them a different way soon, and you know I'm going to go about them differently soon with these frames. But uh, yeah, so yeah. Anyway, guys, see you in the next clip. Hey guys, um, another little check in for you guys, it's quarter to eight, it's Friday, um, so yeah we've been working all this week, just been having a steady one, um, plot space, that pair is basically done now, uh, I've just got to build the front today, I might have to finish a few bits off Saturday, I probably won't 
film anything because it is raining at the moment so I'm not rushing in um, so uh, yeah I might get a little bit of uh, third person sort of just a little bit maybe time lapse me building some corners because um, I've had to take the front down um, to blow the scaffold boards I can't even get my internal profile set up on it because you know you can sit there struggling with you know F clamps, T clamps <coughs> but sometimes when they're just the scaffold's too high or you know like in my situation I've had to take brickwork down you know there's sometimes just not any point putting a profile up I'm going to put a profile on two of the external corners and I'm just going to build you know I'm just going to build um, you know with a level uh, but also in line so I'm not having to plumb you know two sides of you know my free hand in a sense you know I've got a line going one side you know you know part like using a line and a level is better than just using a level without a profile so put up profiles where you can and especially on these Connie bricks as well um, you need something to stop them moving because they will want to move especially ready mix silo they do tend to be more sturdy you can take them a bit higher but we've got extra scaffold lifts now we don't have to reach silly high so for me 18 18 courses like top speed courses man like it's fucking so much easier only having to take it 18 you can literally wall at top speed up to your last course and the last two courses where you're walling at reduced speed you cut that out and you just boom straight onto the next plot you know you get your brick right around quicker you get you you know everything you know I've got some internal block work profile setups coming soon there's so many things that I'm excited to you because I've not been I've had time this week because I've just been sort of you know just taking my time with everything you know it's um it's nice it's nice to um just sometimes think what you're doing you know I've come up with some lot more efficiency tips you know like you said I tried I tried it last video I said I was going to get here you know 7 o'clock I've tried it it's don't, it's not for me Dean don't like it he prefers to get here at 8 you know and it, we've had a go and the production isn't there if you're, if you're used to getting to site at a certain time the production isn't there and you're not attacking it when you're there the best so right I'm going to go back in <laughs> I need toilet now I'm going to go back in and then I'm cruise to work uh, Dean's off today by the way that's why I'm in my car um, he's got a doctor appointment um, but then we're back in tomorrow so it's Saturday tomorrow I'll be filming all the way through and then expect a video probably around Sunday time um, so I'm still keeping up every two three days per video so hope everyone enjoys hope everyone is enjoying this content hope everyone saw the Fitz Brick v Jag Clamp video you know people you know were trying to were leaving comments and stuff trying to say that you know that basically they've tried Fitz Bricks. I don't know if Jag clamps were out before Fitz Bricks, but I know they were made for American gear. They were arguing with me about the materials. But I'll show you in some more videos that I'll show you a rough neck spring clamp for two ninety nine, and it's the same construction as a Jag clamp. It's cheap fucking stuff. It's cheap stuff. Yeah, it's it's marketed as made in the USA, but it's not made in the USA, mate. It's it's cheap stuff. It's made in China. You know, it's you know we know I you know with my connections with industry insiders you know it's you know it, it's self-explanatory what you can see you can see the construction of these some of these clamps is just you know the fixed bricks are the best you know and I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it you know at the end of the day they do work but they're not as good as the fixed brick you know at the end of the day uh, the fixed brick has ten times you know ten times the application if you add up all the things it can do it's just a better product but you know, people will just say what they want to say, you know, um, who, what does everyone use, who do you see using Jag clamps, no one over here, no one in the UK, but, you know, fair enough, they're designed for American style bits of kit, but as soon, you know, with the Fitz Bricks being new, as soon as they tap into the American market, which I don't have any stake in Fitz Brick, I'm not sponsored by Fitz Brick or anything, you know. You don't see it in you don't see it in any of my videos. I just use it. You know, what I mean, I don't use it. I'm not sponsored. I don't have co affiliate codes. You know, um, the thing is, you who what do you see being used? You know, at the end of the day, I'll show you some comparisons. I've still got them, so you know, can't see myself using them because they're not 
why I've when I've got something better. It's like me using it's like me using like say I had a um you know, a Marshall Town tile setter with the perfect handle. Why would I go back to using a carbon steel RST with a crappy handle? You know, I'm only used by the way, people wondering I'm using an RST for the handle size. The handle's perfect for my for my hand at the moment, but I'm in the process creating a new trowel um, but you know you guys I've already got I've already got probably one of the best pick and dip trowels working off of boards that 8 inch it's probably the best pick and dip trowel um, but I'm working on another pick and dip trowel or a drag joint whatever you want to call it speed boating there's a lot of, what a slang they use for the pick and dip but dragging the perp the brick back and creating the perp there's an art to doing it and there's a there's a trowel style that is more advantageous. I've um, had a word with a few knowledgeable guys, you know, a few guys with more experience than me, and they've told me some things about these these new these pick and dip trowels that you guys need to know, and you guys will uh, it definitely help a few you guys out if you're trying to learn it. You know, trying to get into this, you know, to the speed of Charlie Coyson, me at the pick and dip because I've done it exclusive now for like two years. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm rabbiting on. It's almost bloody eight o'clock now. Yeah, it's almost eight, so I better get off. So I'm at sight for at least something close to nine. But anyway, see you in a bit. So I'm gonna do uh, some soldiers now. A uh, little technique. Fucking nothing special really, but just check out how I do it, and it's all to do with a small trowel. So yeah, check it out.
So, site closes at three today. Seen some of these clips already. Uh, so, <laughs> what I said, beginning of this day, <laughs> out window. Uh, I'm gonna try to get most of what I can done. It's now 20 past 12, I've got two and a half hours. I'm gonna have to sit down for 20 minutes, have a snap. You know, sometimes you can only do what you can do. You can see here, set, set window out and block, which I got taught to do years ago. You know, I don't think it's very accurate. Like, you can see here, I'll show you. Plumb down from your internal, which all that's below the scaffold anyway. Put a mark, measure, window. These frames are the same on brick, are the same, are the same on block. So, you know, I don't like doing it, but you know, the clips are in and it looks neat. You know, I mean, Dean pointed all this. Maybe I think I did a bit of it. Um, got a fire sock to go up here. It's one already in, but about to go up. Um, I'm only taking this probably, I don't know, not very high. Not for him to lift it to the scaffold, probably like 20. Probably 20, a bit lower than other, a bit lower than the rest. Um, but I'll probably not get it done today. I haven't even got my profiles because we've got some stuff nicked, so. I'm going to fill that in, build this corner, so my main focus first is get the shit that I can see and can get to easy, so I'm going to build this corner right up. Um, this is a cut up here, as you can see, that's, that's a little cut up, um, so get that in first, get that out of the way, and then that's everything on this plot just caught up, I'm caught up completely with... I've been, you know, because I count all the time, I'm always counting stopping ends, you know, rack backs, not count, you know, so that first, then that, and then on, because they're not up on Saturday either, I can't come in and do this, this is Saturday's job, me and Dean, but I'm going to set everything ready for profiles today, but well, I don't know, I can't do it anymore, I can't, you know, i got I kicked off at job yesterday at quarter past five, you know, I can't I like to work late, but oh well, oh well. So, this corner built up, tailed out, that completed, that rack back, and that, that's what I want to do in the next two hours. Um, I'm going to make it to get some footage as well. I've got my gorilla pod. And then, if it's just that, on Monday they can... They can start lifting maybe the sides or whatever while I'm doing this. But this is about 500 brick here, believe it or not. There's about 500 brick, give or take, here. So this is a day's work. But I thought I'd be done. But Oh well, keep going. Well, miss, I guess I'll be on my way now. You just give me a...
So yeah, I didn't have time, they kicked us off site early today, but they're not open site either, so... Um, yeah, that was the sh <laughs> shittiest week I've had in about eight months. But yeah, it is what it is, you have your bad week, stuff don't go to plan. Like me, we're a bit burnt out this week, I said I didn't the video. At least we got a bit of footage for you guys, you guys have got a video. Um, that just shows, like, you didn't have profiles today, I didn't have organisation want there, Ed wanted it, but next week we start afresh. Me and Mel are going me and Mel are gonna do some uh, chill out, do some gaming this week and relax. And uh, yeah, and we'll have a, have a better week next week, you know. There's always, you know, you, you've got to 
other factors in your life can affect your work and this is a prime example you know um i w- i've dropped on probably most fiddliest that's the shittest i think that's the shittest pay you can do i think i think that is the one of the fiddliest uh pairs because of the, the cut up and the bits and bobs so monday i've got finishing that which i'll piss it no worries <laughs> and uh yeah, it is what it is. But this will probably get quite a lot of views because people like it when you don't have a good week. So, this is what it is, fuck it. At least it's a YouTube week. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, the video of me doing some soldiers and stuff. Uh, you know, I enjoyed doing that a little bit. And when I'm so well, you know, even though I haven't earned much this week, it, you know, it's still like... <laughs> it's This this week would have been <laughs> a top week post-recession. <laughs> But, you know, back when I first started on, like, 3, 40, 000, I think it was, if we didn't, like, seven, eight hundred in a week, we were fucking buzzing. But, yeah, that's, uh, is what it is this week, so, yeah. That's, this is a fucking top, top earner in the recession week. So, yeah. Anyway, right, see you in the next, uh, see you in the next video.